something animal lovers have known for a long time. Just like us, dogs want to be entertained and occupied. In order to lead a happy and balanced life, they need suitable tasks and require physical and mental challenges. But this is sometimes easier said than done in everyday life. Dog sports can be a perfect outlet and can also strengthen your relationship. Today, we will take a closer look at the sports of dummy training and man trailing. These are really popular among canines with a good nose. Dummy training was developed for practicing with hunting dogs. It originally involved deliberately finding and retrieving killed birds or small game. Dogs that have good basic obedience have an advantage in this sport. All dogs that like to retrieve and enjoy working with people are best equipped for dummy training. In principle though, no breeds are excluded. To make sure your dog remembers the desired sequences, you should always reward it when it does things correctly. Dogs associate their actions directly with praise. During dummy training, you'll have to work with snacks in many situations. The aim of this sport is for your dog to search for the dummy on command, find it and bring it back to you. The dummy should be delivered directly into your hand. The basic element of this sport is retrieving. In dummy training, there are three ways to send your dog on a search. When marking, first throw the dummy. The dog stays with you and watches the trajectory. It needs to remember where the dummy has landed. Only on your command may the dog run to retrieve the dummy. Several simultaneous throws with different dummies are also possible to challenge your dog a little more. You determine the order in which your dog has to bring them back. Your dog's nose is vitally important when searching for a lost dummy. The dog doesn't know where the dummy fell. Its task is to independently search an area of approximately 50 by 50 meters and sniff out the dummy or several dummies. With the pointing variant, the owner guides the dog in the right direction with trained signals. Besides hand signals, word and whistle signals are typically used for this purpose. You should train your dog in advance to be able to recognize the signals. What's really great, with dummy training, many dog breeds can finally do exactly what they were originally bred for. This way, you can exercise your dog in a fun and species-appropriate way. The other very exciting sport that we'll now introduce to you is man-trailing. This variation of nose work is not only used to search for missing persons, but also to identify criminals. The good thing about this sport, every dog with a well-functioning nose can actually participate. This means, from the small pincher to the large Great Dane, every dog is suited to become a man-trailer. The basic procedure is as follows. You and your dog have the task of finding a specified person in a given environment with the help of an odor object. To do this, you hold a scent sample in front of your dog's nose at the beginning of the trail. 
It's important for the sample not to come into contact with other odor sources. After your dog has picked up the scent, it starts to follow the trail. You lead it on a long drag line. The chest harness should not cut into the dog or otherwise prevent it from sniffing. Please note, not only the final finding should be a sense of achievement for your dog, you need to motivate it from time to time too. You can also easily adapt the intensity of the sport to your own level. For beginners, we recommend starting with a short trail. That means that the distance between the dog and the object is smaller. This keeps motivation high and you can increase the level of challenge with growing confidence. For example, by sending your dog on older trails. In general, man trailing makes you aware of what a dog's nose is capable of. You can find even more videos about dog sports, dog ownership and training on our YouTube channel and in the Zoo Plus magazine.